Welcome to the second part of the transmission systems. Last time we discussed what the transmission system is and how energy is transmitted from the engine to the wheels as well as the manual transmission system. Today we will now cover automatic and how the continuously variable transmission or CVT works. The main difference between a manual and an automatic transmission is that the automatic uses the same set of gears to produce all the different gear ratios using the planetary gear set. And it relies on a torque converter to decouple the engine and the gear set instead of a clutch. The torque converter uses the principles of fluid dynamics. The basic premise is, when the engine is spinning slowly, very little torque is transmitted through the fluid and in turn within the torque converter. However, when the engine is spinning quickly, almost all of the torque is transmitted to the transmission. That is why automatic transmission cars creep forward when idling. With this, the gears are free from the need of a driver's direct input. How does the automatic transmission then decide which gear is needed and select that gear? Instead of gears on two parallel shafts, the automatic transmission utilizes a single, concentric shaft with sets of gears inside and around each other in a planetary arrangement. It includes a sun gear, a planet carrier or carrier that holds multiple planet gears, and a ring gear. It alters the ratio of input to output gear speeds through engagement of one of the gears to another, offering a range of available ratios. A complex system of hydraulics control which set of gears to engage, and this hydraulic system is in turn controlled by an electronic control unit programmed to suit the engine and vehicle. All these gear sets are connected to the engine's input by a series of internal clutches that are also controlled by the same computer and hydraulic system. This is how the gear ratio is determined. The next system to be discussed is the CVT. It was in fact conceptualized by Leonardo da Vinci more than 500 years ago. The CVT is also an automatic transmission system, but it changes the diameters of the input shaft and output shaft directly instead of going through several gears to change the gear ratio. An infinite number of gear ratios are possible with a CVT. This is the most efficient transmission system of all. It is quite simple compared to the planetary gear system. It has three major parts, a drive pulley connected to the input shaft, a driven pulley connected to the output shaft, and a belt. Because the length of the driving belt is fixed, the diameter of the driven pulley becomes large by closing two cones of the pulley together and vice versa. This is the pulley-based CVT. I liken the transmission system to our veins. It pumps the blood from the heart to all over our body so we can function. That's how the transmission system works. It transmits power from the engine to the wheels. A lot of research went into developing better and more efficient transmission systems and I look forward to the latest development. 